Hello everybody. Hello my viewers. Hello my subscribers. Hello my new subscribers. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord guide you and protect you in Jesus name. Amen. Today we are going to discuss mostly about some of our brothers and sisters that are crying, weeping all times because of one thing or the other. This place we are going to read today and go in and discuss it, our Heavenly Father is giving us encouragement. And that encouragement will lead you in your life. That encouragement our Father in Heaven is giving us will make you not to weep again. And to tell you that you are not alone, that He knows what you are going through. Our Heavenly Father wants to talk to us today in his word please listen to this voice and may you be blessed in jesus name amen our reading is taken from the book of isaiah chapter 54 from verse 1 we are using the king james bible read with me and listen single barren thou that did not bear Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that did not travel with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, says the Lord. Enlight the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habita habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy courts, and strengthen thy steps. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and there thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles, and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood, anymore. Amen. For thy maker is thy husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy, and thy redeemer, thy holy one of Israel. The God of the whole earth shall he be called, for the Lord has called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth, when thou was refused says thy God. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little rout I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, says the Lord thy Redeemer. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me, for as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I will not be worth with thee, nor rebuke thee. Amen. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, says the Lord, that has mercy on thee. That are felted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted. Behold, I was laid thy stones with their with fair colours, and laid thy foundations with sapphires, and I will make thy windows of edges, and thy gates of cubicles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be thy peace of thy children. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be fair from oppression, for thou shalt not fear and from terror, for he shall not come near thee. Behold, thou shalt surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created thy smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, 
and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the wester to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the, of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord of hosts. Amen. Hallelujah. Anything that is worrying your life, anything that is disturbing you, let's talk about the widows. There are some places when a man died, they have some people, they treat the wife so bad. Are you one of them that they have treated bad? Almighty God is talking to you in the word of God today. He said you should not fear. He said that he will take care of you. He said that whatever people are doing to you, that he knew that he will come by himself and take care of you. Amen. Now, those that are looking for job, you have not gotten a job. Do you listen to the word of God? Almighty God said he will make a way for you. That anybody that is disturbing you, that he will take charge. He said, fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shall not remember the reproach of thy widowhood. Whatever that you are going through, whatever that makes you, you cannot sleep at night. Because there are some people, they don't sleep. Because of trouble, because of worry, because of wanting or the other. Our mighty father is saying in this book of Isaiah 54 verse 1 to 18. He said you should not fear. He said you should not fear. You should not worry that he will make a way for you where there is no way. And he said that anybody that is disturbing your life, any enemy, any evil spirit, that wants to destroy you. Listen to what he said. He said from verse 15. He said. Behold. They shall surely gather. Those enemies. They will gather. Just listen. But not by my name. This is the word of God. He said. Whosoever shall gather together against you. Shall fall by thy sake. Amen. Anybody that has gathered to wicked you. To bring shame to you, Almighty God will never allow them to happen. They will, he will never allow their wickedness to happen to your life. 16, he said, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the wester to destroy. You see, Almighty God created everything. He created us. He knows everything around us. So whomever is fighting you secretly, whomever is disturbing your life, whomever said that you will not live to enjoy your life, don't worry yourself. Almighty God says he will take control. And you know, when God has taken control, he will make all your enemies to become your full stone in Jesus' name. Amen. And verse 17, this one is so popular that everybody knows it. He says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Have you seen it? And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Hallelujah. And he said, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. He didn't say his righteousness is of any pastor, of any G.O., of any evangelist, of any prophet. No, it's of God. So what you should do, child of God, just trust in God. Don't look at anybody. Rise up from your slumber. Wherever you may be, remember this word that almighty God is watching over you. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. 
May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.